friendliness and comradeship already existing between Empire and Allies. It was good to hear that HMS Illustrious was out and about again, for the Navy can't have too many aircraft carriers in a war like this, and our losses among the big ships of the Fleet Air Arm have been heavy. It's good news, too, that we've been getting Grumman Martlets for the Fleet Air Arm, which deserves all the best aircraft obtainable. The Martlet is a fast four-gun fighter, top speed 325, ceiling 28,000, range over 1,000 miles at just under 300 miles an hour. Admiral Lister, the fifth Sea Lord, came aboard while we were at sea in Illustrious. Presently, with Admiral and Captain watching from the bridge, the commander directed a display of flying. As the aircraft returned to the ship, they're directed in by an officer signaling with landing lights. Known colloquially as the Batsman, I believe, he helps to bring the aircraft and pilot safely down to the deck, where the arrestor gear does the rest. Illustrious beat off a number of heavy attacks from the air near Malta over a year ago. After repairs at an American port and a refit here, she resumed her invaluable work on active service.